Well, hi everybody. It's Easter again. The Frasers are back on a boat. But as you can see this year, we've kind of been a little bit different. This is Chris Cruisers. This is at Datchet, near Windsor, on the glorious River Thames. We're going to try something different this year. We've always done the Norfolk Broads. Again, fantastic trips we've had there with Richardson's of Stalham. But uh, this year, we've uh, done our research and we're going with Chris Cruisers. And we've chosen this time Lady Suzanne. And um, I would just point out that uh, Lady Suzanne is a Moor & Co built boat up on the Norfolk Broads. Uh, sleeps six to eight people and 40 feet long. And we're going to have a quick walk around now. And unlike a, a previous uh, video we've done of the inside of our boat, we're going to do it before we load it up with all our junk and get on board and do our trip. But what I will say, I've had a quick look around myself. What a magnificent boat. And the way Chris Cruisers are presenting it. So we've arrived. We've arrived a little early. They were happy for us to take charge of the boat already. Uh, they've put the heating on for us. And so far, I'm very, very impressed. So here we are in the rear cabin. This is a two berth. And this is all left by Chris Cruisers. We've got some toiletries and towels on every bed. A little shortbread biscuit. All our bedding is included. Towels are included. Um, the presentation of the craft, that's looking out the back of the boat, towards the bow, towards the stern. Oh, there, you see, I'm rusty. Towards the stern. And um, absolutely well presented boat. We have um, wash hand basins. Uh, in all the cabins uh, what I think will be a wardrobe yes we've got a, a wardrobe here in the corner we've got drawers underneath and cupboard space and this is the, like I said the rear two berth cabin and I believe one of these beds might come over if you wanted to make this a double we go then in towards the galley. Again on our left hand side, we again have a wardrobe. Vacuum cleaner on this boat, most unusual. Um, we've arrived, we haven't paid for any extras and yet here we are with some tea and coffee complimentary on the boat and um, tea towels, oven mitts, washing cloth other implements for helping to wash up the kettles there bread bin and of course we have the microwave plenty of cover space do we to excuse the children they're very excited just like their father is and um, plenty of cupboard space here beautiful built-in oven as one would expect and a four burner hob we're just going to go into the next bedroom along well there we go and again two berth the usual complimentary items which I think is just a really nice touch hand and body lotion um, and the second bedroom there is reading lights above there is again as there was in the first bedroom and apologies for not po pointing it out there is hooks there uh, a razor point um, again reading lamp um, there is main lighting as well and of course the wash hand basin and storage underneath and storage under the bed as well there are drawers under the bed on both sides and there's a little cubby hole on either side as well heating in here as there is in the rear cabin as well hello there we go and Again, we're just going for it now, and we've got a door on the right here, and this takes us into the first of the toilets and shower combined. It's electronic flush toilet, so quite modern, and again, hook up there, but quite roomy, and there is an opening window inside. I'll just come forward 
there's two buttons there one's for emptying the shower one's for flushing the toilet sorry let me look down it's the two buttons there we've got the shower controls just there and again there's already a roll of toilet paper and a spare in here and we have brought some with us but uh, i mean that's uh, that's nice that's good. very very good fire extinguisher an actual waste bin as well um which we kind of have not really had fire blanket uh, and again just hooks along higher level there just in case we want to put anything up there so the galley is quite well appointed i like that we're now coming into the salon the lounge the raised steering position this is a mid steer cruiser and we have our tv um, that looks new it's still got some wrapping on it as well we've got covered spaces underneath and um, just coming up the um, roof obviously comes down i believe that's electric on this boat i can't see any winding handles so there will be controls and yes we, we are electric I've just look behind me um, what i like about this boat is we do have a door out so if the, if it's closed there is this mid step position and there is a sliding door that um, opens if we need to get out from this position as well uh, if the roof's not down obviously the steering position that's fairly standard um, in a lot of respects we have electric windscreen wiper we've got a cigar lighter um, type fitting there as well or cigarette lighter type fitting as well for charging stuff horn obviously the controls for forward and reverse um, we've got the heating controls on the side we have got the up and down for the uh, roof and again just to prove a point there we go the, this boat was built by Moore and Co in Roxham in Norfolk as well bless them they're no longer with us um, which is a shame again very nice well appointed boats from Moore as always and so an absolutely spacious saloon area we've got a folding table and that and this goes down into a double if need be we've got speakers we've got a radio down there as well uh, and that you can connect to that by usb so we're now going forward um, into the main cabin uh, sleeping area bedroom and again really really nice i love this um seat design that we've got here um, nice double bed uh, again with the complimentary um, toilets and all that we have the escape window at the front but we've got a lovely forward facing window and side windows uh, no television in here but I'm, I, to be honest that doesn't bother me at all but there are sockets everywhere there's 240 volts on this there is a wardrobe space which is more than adequate there are again very well designed this boat there's plenty of drawers there and work surfaces as well which no doubt we will fill we're a big family and there are drawers underneath and as you would expect this forward cabin um this has um excuse my fingers in the way there i'm just closing the door behind again we have on suites so we have within here our wash hand basin um our shower above again electric flushing toilets and uh obviously our shower area as well and that's actually quite quite large in here that's quite nice again toilet paper provided so uh, like i said I, I can't help but be impressed with that and i've got to say exceptionally clean craft now it turns out that we are the first people to arrive of the season and collect our boat it is a friday it's the first of april but we're no fools coming to chris cruisers that's for sure so um hope if you are looking to come on the thames that you do consider Chris Cruisers, so far exceptionally good. Love what I'm seeing. Love the the, the, the reception and the staff there as well. And um, like I said, you know, do try the Thames. Uh, I no doubt we're going to have a lovely time. Uh, thank you for watching.